how do you know what to improve in your videos so that you can actually increase your views because yes we all want a lot of views but we never actually know okay i want a lot of views so i need to make a better video so what exactly does a better video mean that's what you're discussing today we are talking about the three metrics that you the only three that you basically need to focus on to see tremendous growth on a youtube channel increased views and therefore increased monies increased yes increased monies <laughs> i'm so glad you're here let's go to the first metric the first and most important metric is the click-through rate we have discussed this before also we'll call it the ctr from now and forth now many of us when you look at our youtube studios we will see these analytics these figures like you see like your video got a ctr of seven percent or ten percent but if you're like me when i was beginning you're like okay what does this mean what am i supposed to do with this figure basically what i've come to understand is that it generally represents how many people have opted in to your video so basically when you open your your homepage when you go to youtube and you see all those videos that youtube has suggested to you out of the 100 people that youtube suggests your particular video for the number that clicks out of 100 becomes your click through rate basically if seven people out of a if 100 people were shown your thumbnail and seven of them opted to watch your video based on what they saw on their home sc home screen then that is your ctr and basically it is what determines at the end of the day whether or not your video will get views not so much how good your video is not so much how well you did the presentation not so much how much research you did but your click-through rate basically and this comes down to three things number one and most important is your thumbnail followed by your title and lastly the video idea because let me tell you guys, if you come to this channel and you find I have a fantastic thumbnail and an awe-inspiring title, but the idea of the video itself is about painting walls and you're not here for painting walls, then chances are you will not be interested. So it has to be a combination of three things. A very good thumbnail, a very good title, and also the video idea has to be exactly what your audience is looking for so it took me a while to actually figure out what to do or how to tweak my thumbnails and titles to get the highest ctr i can and basically let me tell you guys even the best channels possibly range a ctr of about 20 15 percent so the only thing we can do right now is when you find that your ctr is let's say six percent just aim to take it a bit higher so look at the thumbnails in your niche look what people like about them look at your most viewed videos look at how their thumbnails look like see how you can replicate that also your titles and the video ideas and this will increase your ctr basically what we have done for us is we take some months and just focus on working on either one of these metrics that i'm going to discuss today let's say we are focusing on our ctr so we look at thumbnails we'll go to other channels that are getting a lot of views see how they do their thumbnails see what we can improve about our thumbnails and if only we increase it by like one percent two percent or even five percent that would result in so many views you guys so it's all a matter of just trying learning figuring out what makes a good thumbnails for your niche and for your videos and seeing how you can tweak them okay we have even gone back to old videos twice now we have gone back to old videos and changed thumbnails trying to see if we'll trigger the algorithm to get more recommendations based on the improved ctr so it is something that is worth doing and that's why you should subscribe to this channel because we are going to be discussing all this in depth how to get better how to increase each metric over time the more you learn the more you get better at this so let's go to the metric number two the second metric is the average view duration now this is formed when you go to your youtube studio under the video and i'll take a screenshot here so you can see it is found under engagement basically it means how much of your video has your audience watched have they watched 10 minutes if it's a 12 minute video which would be fantastic and basically it gives you the percentage like they've watched 20 percent of this video 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent i have heard from good authority that a video that gets more than 45 or 50 percent average view duration will absolutely take off and so the key thing for us is to make sure the video is very very engaging so that people can watch it 
for longer so one we've gotten them to click on the video because we have a fantastic thumbnail and fantastic title the second thing is to make sure they watch for as long as possible which of course rules out any clickbait you have to make sure that what you promise in your thumbnail and title is what you have delivered because the first 30 seconds are crucial if people are logging out of your video after watching it for five seconds then something is wrong and youtube will not recommend that video but even after taking them past the 30 seconds timeline you want them to watch a big percentage of your video so sometimes this means maybe making shorter videos and sometimes it most times it means having a lot of b-roll having a lot of engaging things inside your video having a good storyline if you look at the video we recently did about the things you should do after you have filmed your video then you will see there's a checklist that you can download it's going to show you everything that you need to do to increase your watch time because this will increase your average view duration and youtube will smile on you and they're going to recommend your video to get more and more views and this is basically an art that you get better with over time so do not feel pressured as i said all you need to do is to pick one of these metrics work on them for a while and then pick the next one work on it for a while guys it takes years to get this right so you know gotta be patient put in the hard work and you will see results the third metric is the average view per viewer this is very important and you only find it under when you go to your youtube analytics and then you go to advanced mode and then you go to more metrics and there you will find average views per viewer basically this will show you like if you have published four videos in a month how many are each of your viewers watching? So let's say if you publish four videos and your average view per viewer per month is four videos. Basically, that means your viewers are not missing any of your content. And basically, that means that you have built a library of, of videos that really resonates with your audience. They trust you. They trust the kind of content that you're making. You have picked a good niche and you have stuck to it as we have discussed before. And this means they can rely on you to show up every month and they're opting to not miss even one of your uploads. And this is, of course, this is a fantastic place to be. So basically what it means is pick your quality, pick your niche, be consistent. And over time, your audience are going to trust that you show up for them. And in return, they're going to show up for you. So in an ideal situation, if you're publishing four videos per month, you want your average view per viewer per month to be Four videos and that means your channel is going to grow and it is going to increase in views and therefore increase in the money that you are making and basically if you want to know which niche is best for you so that you can have this increased average view per viewer i've had i've done a video showing you exactly how to pick the niche the niches that make you the best money the niches that have the large audience and that's the video you should watch next so i'll see you over there bye